Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Let's Play of Mega Man 3. This is Fire Wizard 23, back with you. So, when we last left off, we had completed the first loop of Robot Masters, Magnet Man, Hard Man, Top Man, Shadow Man, and Spark Man. And uh, incidentally, Spark Man's weapon will work against Magnet Man. These sparks will disrupt that, uh, his magnetism. So now we have to start the next Robot Master loop, which just contains these three remaining robots. Uh, Snake Man, Needle Man, and Gemini Man. Uh, and I'm going to start with Snake Man. Let's go fight Snake Man and all his snakiness. Hmm. Come to think of that, I wonder if Dr. Wily just really didn't have really a lot of creativity. So, in this level, I do have a Mega Buster, but I'm actually going to use a Shadow Blade throughout this level. Because it's just a lot more versatile, especially with some of these enemies. With like how they, how, where the enemies are positioned and stuff, this weapon is just so much more versatile. I mean, I can go through it with the regular Buster, but I mean, the Shadow Blade just works so well here, especially with these three guys. Oop, jump over all three, and you can re you can reach the third one that was right here, so don't be afraid to just throw the Shadow Blade. All right, here's a big one. He's gonna throw three energy balls and then just get right under him and use the Shadow Blade. Okay. I'm getting, it's not really that hard. <laughs> the game really just isn't that difficult. I've said that so many times, but I'm just re-emphasizing it. Let's zip through here. Here's these wonderful shovel dudes. Gotta watch out because for most players, it's it's that little. It's when they bounce using that little shovel thing, and then they spring up. The shovel is still in midair in front of you, so you can still get hurt by it. You just use a shadow blade and just throw it right through the wall there. Not a bad guy. We climb up the left ladder. Now, there are some goodies in these boxes on the right here, but yeah, it, it's not worth it to go for them. All right, and here's another one of the big snakes. Uh, the big snake, I'm going to throw four, three energy balls at you. Ha ha ha. Now he's dead. Okay, we'll just keep going here. Ugh. <laughs> okay, just climb up here, and this level kind of gets kind of airmanish from the second game. This kind of kind of looks like it, it comes kind of like an airman stage, sort of. But nope, Snake Man is up here. Okay, these are the platforms you have to be careful of. If you stand on the top of this while it is coming up, you can actually get kicked off. So I recommend doing just a light little jump so you c just before it pops up, just so you can land on it properly. Then there's these missile thingamajigs. Ah. Shooting the blade. Actually, I'm going to switch back to my regular buster here, because that, the weapon, c just because it's a very straight shot weapon. So all you got to do is hit these things once, and they get really pissy and just charge forward. Okay. And here is Snake Man. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and use the regular buster here. Let's go fight him. Snake Man. Again, this guy's got an incredibly predictable pattern. He's going to do that. He's going to throw the two search snakes and slide right under him. Ow! See, at this point, just keep following Snake Man. So, like, just jump back over him when he jumps towards you. Okay, fine, you can beat this guy quickly. If you to jump, it's okay. Don't panic. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> we did it. Now we take his power. We get his search snake, which was that weapon he was throwing up the walls. That's going to be useful in quite a few levels here, and especially against the next robot master. You got the search snake, and we turn green when we use the search snake. And that can fit in the next robot master here. So to use the search snake, we got two robot masters left, Needleman and Gemini Man, and we are actually going to use the search snake against Gemini Man. So let's go fight him. Uh, Gemini obviously being the astrological sign for the twins, uh, which kind of gives you a little bit of a hint of what Gemini Man might be like. Go here. Uh, Gemini's kind of like this space kind of stage here. We got these little 
uh, UFO type things shooting fire. And these killer penguins. I, I don't really know how UFOs and penguins are connected in some way. Maybe some evil dark secret in America's past. Um, <laughs> special here, just fighting monsters, shooting them, zapping them up. Okay, now here's the one spot, because here is Proto Man again, but he's not going to fight us. He's just going to kind of stand there and pose, and he's going to open up the pathway. I, I have no idea what the significance of that whole sequence is, but maybe he decided that we're ready. Maybe we can take on the greater challenge to come. Okay, these little egg things, just shoot them and just shoot again. That way he can just destroy the little, the little baby inside. I, I'm not trying to be like, you know, kill babies. Is this <laughs> You can shoot the little fish coming out. They're, robo they're robots, remember. You know, we're not dealing with actual living creatures. Okay. Climb up the ladder. Got a funky kind of music, visual graphic going on here. Uh, use the rush coil. Just bounce up here to get on top of these eggs, because you can't make the jump up to this top shelf. Uh, switch back to the plasma power. Slide, slide here we got this huge penguin machine. Just shoot the eyes and you can get rid of it. And these mosquitoes will be ever so wonderful in trying to stop you. And just fall down. Uh, we don't need the energy so we can just bypass it, but you just use a rush coil to go get it. Okay, now here is where the rush marine can come in handy. And I believe it's one of only two stages that this can come in handy. Drop the rush marine in the water and jump in. Now you get a little sub. Now be careful, because you do have the energy at the upper right sp spot that is ticking down here. So you're going to need some more energy, so jump. you can jump up out of the water with the sub. Go grab that energy tank. Ow. Keep going, going. Jump up to get more energy. Yeah. Let the tank run down here. There we go. Switch back to the plasma power. Jump up, grab this energy. More of those guys, and that was a very more of those uh, vacuum guys, and we can jump up and grab the energy. He's one of these eye guys, but it's pretty easy. You can just stand right there and just shoot him safely from the ladder. And here is Gemini Man. Okay, so for Gemini Man, we want to use the Search Snake, and you will see why very quickly. Here's Gemini Man, and it's classic with the Gemini Man. He's going to split. But after a couple shots of the Search Snake, his double goes away, and one shot he's dead. Another shot that he's dead. <laughs> So yeah, just a really quick way to get rid of Gemini Man. I did actually, I should mention that I did actually contemplate doing a Let's Play of this where I only use the Mega Buster, and I realized it was actually going to be a lot more difficult than, I can do it, but it's just going to be a lot more difficult than I thought it was. We get his Gemini Laser, and we turn light blue. Yeah, so I elected to go against a uh, Let's Play with it, just the Mega Buster. So folks, I don't have enough time in this video to finish off the last Robot Master. Gee, I wonder where I should go. Oh, that guy, right, Needleman. I unfortunately don't have enough time in this video to, to fight Needleman, so I'm going to have to save that off for the next video, so I will see you then, folks, and we'll go fight Needleman. Take care.